Now this was caught on private property. The homeowner caught him, whacked him on the head right there, put him out. Now we got him. I've never messed with one of these before. So I really don't know what to do and I don't feel like experimenting right now because the weather is absolutely crazy in any moment. It can just pick up and just get really violent. Everything is flooded guys. So we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna try to, I guess get the shoulder and the back legs. I really don't wanna go inside there and find out what's in there. Fox or something. Nice. I ain't gonna lie, it's kind of smelling like some wet dog off for me at the moment. But there we go, two front shoulders. Flying the same. Oh, there's the oil right now. The amount of fat on it. Look at that fat. We're gonna keep it there. We're gonna go ahead and skin this up, take the claws off. We're gonna go this is, what is it gonna taste like? Comment down below if you ever had it before, y'all. A lot of people might be grossed out about this, and to be honest with you, I'm a little grossed out. Piece of lamb. Nice little rinse. And we got nice four nice pieces off of them. They look like chicken. I'm not even going to lie. It's pretty crazy. Okay, so we have our possum right here. We're going to go ahead and set up a brine. Start by adding some salt. Salt. We're going to add some water. Add a little bit of fresh grounded black pepper. And we're going to add a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Act as a little tenderizer. It's a nice stir. Next step, go ahead and grab our fresh possum pieces right here. I can't believe I'm saying this or doing this. And drench it into the brine, just like that. Into the fridge it goes for about 24 hours. Okay. So, rain's over. That's good. Been uh, getting back on iguanas. Just started going back to work. Had to take some time off. There ain't nothing you can do. There ain't nothing you can do. You know what I'm saying? If it's raining, don't make sense. You go out there, waste energy, potentially get sick to not catch any iguanas. You know, you gotta be smart. You know, we're in a time where you can get sick really easily, compromise your immune system, then you're out the game. Sun's out, went back to work. We'll show some of that footage soon. But today is 48 hours after we brined the possum meat. And we're gonna be cooking it up today, y'all. We're gonna be cooking it up, all right? We're gonna have, uh, you'll see, we're gonna be uh, making a little surprise, all right? A little surprise kind of brunch kind of food, all right? That's what, that's what I'm in the mood for. So if you guys don't know, I am a breakfast person. I love breakfast food. Eggs, pancakes, waffles, omelets, bacon, ham. Bring it all, biscuits and gravy, everything. So we're gonna be making a Southern style, breakfast style, with the possum, all right. Let's get everything set up and let's get right into it. Okay, this is what we're gonna be cooking with. Got this burner right here. We're gonna go ahead and set it right up. Got a pan. Let that get nice and hot or a pot or whatever you wanna call it. It's pretty big for what we're using, but hey, bigger the better, right? Here we got some butter. Oh, whoa, that got hot pretty quick. Beautiful. Salt, pepper, and uh, some other spice, I forgot. I don't know if, if possum will even come out good this way, but uh, I'm just gonna cook it like how I like chicken, I guess, like whatever I know how. 
It's got a little fur on it too. It's kind of weird, but uh, there we have it. Marinade, it kind of looks like a pork chop. All right, we're gonna go ahead and add our possum. Cover it and we'll check it in like two, three minutes. Let it do its thing, let it take its time. I don't know how long it's gonna to take to cook, but my guess, probably in the neighborhood of 10 to 15 minutes, it should be completely done. Look at that right there. That, them two boys are looking good. I believe those are the arms. The back ones are the thighs. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. It is starting to smell like steak in here. Steak, pork, or lamb, all right? And I'm a big fan of all of those, so I'm actually, Kind of low-key, feeling more optimistic about trying this opossum. This is just so weird. So weird. Let me see that. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think the front ones are almost done. We took off the two front arms. I believe they're done. And we're gonna be trying this possum in two different breakfast variations, all right? First way, we are gonna eat it with some biscuits and gravy, okay? Kind of like a little southern style on it you know and it's been a minute since i had biscuit and gravy usually i have uh bacon ham sausage but today i am going to be trying it with the possum all right <laughs> forget all this civilized stuff i'm trying to dig right into it so as you can see it is looking like a piece of grilled chicken but guys this is definitely not chicken can actually still see pieces of the fur on it to confirm what it is y'all y'all already know but let's go ahead and give it a try yeah. eat it fat fur and all Uh, seasoning of it, definitely a lot saltier. I think it's because I brined it for two days instead of one. And then I also put like a heavy dose of salt, not knowing too much about seasoning. Cause I got a couple more things to learn. But overall, I mean, I bit it and the meat is very uh, like chicken. Look. It's good, I, I'm, in, I'm actually enjoying it. I just wish I didn't go OD on the salt, but it's pretty good, it's pretty good. We got some water right here. Let's see if we can wash off some of the salt and uh, give it another taste, because it, it does taste good. Okay, so let's get right to it, yo. Look, we got the unsalted piece, no salt. Let's go ahead for another bite. Look, fat right there, fat, just like like whatever, I just want to try the fat. Oh. Now I can taste it. What the heck? You know what that fat tastes like? Do you really want to know what that fat tastes like? Who all out there has ever gone hog hunting for wild hog or have eaten like, you know, stuff wild like out there? Because if you have, you know that the fat on those animals are really, really sweet, like buttery sweet. This thing tastes right here like, like straight butter. The fat tastes a sweet cream, full cream butter, super sweet. That's very surprising. Just like grass-fed beef. You eat grass-fed beef, you're gonna know what I'm talking about. Let's try the meat by itself real quick. Oh my God. Oh my God. That right there, y'all, is surprisingly very, very good. They look kind of like, like little lamb choppies too. They're possum chops. Possum chops and biscuits. Yeah, that's a straight piece of meat right there. Let's get a piece of this biscuit. All right, let's put our pieces of boneless, saltless, hairless possum on there. That's so weird. <laughs> 
let's go ahead and add add a little bit of this this right here yeah a little bit of sausage gravy oh my gosh I haven't had this biscuits and gravy in a while but now actually having it with possum so I haven't yeah it's been a minute y'all and it's my first meal for the day let's go ahead we're gonna take a huge bite We need some more gravy. First and foremost, that was the bomb. That was fire. Just imagine eating a nice buttermilk biscuit with some nice savory gravy and then a nice piece of steak or deer or wild hog on it. Just a nice sweet succulent meat on it right there for a, for a bite. Yeah, I know. It's mind boggling. That's what that was right there. In the future, I'm definitely going to be doing another catch and cook on a possum, maybe a bigger one, maybe a different style. And what I'm noticing about the meat is it's a very delicate meat. You think it's all nasty and all rank, but it's very delicate meat. We had it in that brine for two days and I can taste that it soaked up a lot of the salt and um, cooking it, it cooked like a pork chop. It was, it's very firm, very nice. Maybe it might be good in a stew, maybe it might be good in uh, other ways I don't know but that right there was fire 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 sir more possum and we have a pancake take some meat off more possum meat so this meat like I said we trapped him landowner murked him killed him hit him on the head he's like that's the same possum going through my trash or whatever. So instead of tossing them, I was like, let me just eat them. Try it out for y'all. So we got some syrup, possum in the pancake, dip in syrup. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. Okay, so what did we learn, okay? Yes, you can eat possums. Yes, they're tasty. The meat is delicate. Uh, my final conclusion is it's really good. It's a very delicate type of meat. Um, you can easily over season it. We brined it for 48 hours. You can taste the salt through it. I salted it even more and I used this salted butter. So it's like, I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe I was trying to give myself high blood pressure. I don't know, but it's a very delicate meat. It's very tasty. Uh, it has the same characteristics as uh, lamb, grass-fed beef, uh, tender, sweet, succulent, very good. No gamey taste. Um, would I eat it again? Heck yeah. But I want to know what other recipes I should try. Drop some comments. Let me know. Give the video a like if you enjoyed. And of course, subscribe if you're new.